Hey guys, Adam here and welcome back to Brian's Nerd Pub. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Now, I'm going to be doing some just a tad bit different. I'll be doing my very first book review of, on YouTube and I'll be reviewing the novelization to not only my favorite Batman film, but my favorite film of all time and that is the novelization to Batman from the year 1989 directed by Tim Burton starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. Now the novelization is by Craig Shaw Gardner and it was based on the screenplay by Sam Hamm and Warren Scarn. Now in terms of spoilers I won't be going too much into spoilers but I might give some brief descriptions of some scenes that happen in the novelization that may have not happened in the film. So if you're curious I highly recommend that you go and read this book and then come back and watch this video if you don't want to be spoiled even in the slightest. But with that out of the way, here are my thoughts. Overall, I enjoyed this novelization. I thought it was well written, and it was a fairly easy read for me because most of what happened in the film also happened in the novelization. And I feel that if you've seen the film and are also curious about the novelization, then it should be an easy read for you as well. The part that I enjoyed mostly from reading this book are the scenes that are either just slightly altered from the film or didn't take place in the film altogether. Just to mention of a couple of his scenes without giving too much away in terms of spoilers, there was an alternate scene for the date night between Bruce Wayne and Vicki Vale, and a chase scene between Batman and the Joker during a festival that was not featured in the film at all. But that's all I'll give away. I also loved how the novelization further expanded on certain moments from the film that may have been a little bit questionable in my opinion. Such as, how did Batman keep Vicky Vale from seeing where the entrance to the Batcave was during the scene where they were riding in the dark and creepy woods in the Batmobile? And also, where did the Joker get 20 million in cash? Weirdly enough, one of the only things that I didn't care too much for about this book is that Batman had more dialogue in it than he did in the film. And I know that's more of me being nitpicky, but I personally prefer the film version and his limited dialogue. To me, it kind of added a little bit more seriousness to his character, and I felt that the added dialogue kind of undermined that. Do I recommend that you read the novelization to Batman? Absolutely. Although I will always recommend the film over the book, just because the film offers a great cast, excellent action and cinematography, and let's not forget the iconic score of Danny Elfman. Are you missing anything by not reading the book? Not really. As I mentioned, most of what happened in the film also took place in the novelization, with just the exception of a couple of altered scenes and one brand new scene altogether. So if you love the film and are curious on how it could have been slightly different, I definitely recommend that you check out the novelization. I give the Batman 1989 novelization an A. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with more content such as podcasts, reviews, live stream discussions, and more. Thank you all so much again. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And please remember to stay safe and very healthy out there. Thank you guys so much.